Hello everyone, I welcome you all in my channel Learn Math Easily. Today I am going to explain one of the very important definition of group theory which is called Euler's Phi function. Now what is the meaning of this phi that I have explained you so many times. This is a Greek symbol, this is called Fi Phi. Its name is Euler's Phi function. First of all I will write the formal definition of this. And then I am going to explain each and everything of that definition. So let's start with the definition. What is the meaning of Euler's phi function? For any integer n, we define phi of 1 is equal to 1. And for n greater than 1, phi n to be the number of positive integers less than n and relatively co prime to n. Suppose you have to find out the Euler's phi function of 1. That is by default it is always equal to 1. But for any integer greater than 1 if you want to find out the Euler's phi function of that particular n greater than 1. How will you proceed? You will write all those integers which are less than n. Means will go till 1 n minus 1. And from this set, we will pick those elements which are co-prime to n. Means that number m, any number we are picking from here. And this n should be co-prime to each other. Relatively co-prime to each other means that HCF should be equal to 1. We will select all those numbers from this set of which there are HCF with this n should be equal to 1 and then we will calculate the order of that set, the number of elements in that set. That will be our Euler's phi function of n. If you are getting confused, let's proceed with the real actual integers. Suppose we have to calculate Euler's phi function of 4. First of all, we will write integers which are less than positive integers which are less than 4. These are 1, 2 and 3. Now we have to find out Euler's phi function of 4. So we will compare and check what will be the HCF of each of these terms with 4. So let's start with 1 and 4. Here we are getting their HCF is 1. So our new set will contain 1. Now we will check HCF on 2 and 4. That is 2. This is not equal to 1. Therefore, 2 is not relatively co-prime with 4. So 2 will not come in this new set. And then we will check 3 and 4. Its HCF is 1. So 3 will come here. So for Euler's phi function of 4, we will check order of this set. Means number of elements in this new set. That is 2 here. Now we will check Euler's phi function for 6. So number of positive integers which are less than 6 are 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. These are number of positive integers which are less than 6. Now we will check HCF of each and every term with this 6. Now HCF of 1 and 6 is 1. HCF of 2 and 6 is 2. So 1 will come here in this new set. But 2 is not equal to 1 so 2, is not, 2 will not come here. HCF of 3 and 6. This 3 and 6. This is 3 which is not equal to 1. So 3 will also not come here. HCF for 4 and 6 we have to check. This is 2 which is not equal to 1. So this is also 4 is also 4 will also not come here. 
HCF of 5 and 6 is 1. So, 5 will come here. Therefore, for in order to check Euler's 5 function of 6, we will see order of this new set 1 and 5, it contains 2 elements. So, this will be equal to 2. Similarly, we will find out Euler's 5 function of 10. Now, we will write down all those positive integers which are less than 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Now, we will calculate HCF of 1 and 10 that is 1. From the past two examples, we can see that 1 will always be a part of new set. So, we will never check in next upcoming things or upcoming examples and theorems, we will ne uh, not check for the HCF of any number with 1. That will always be equal to 1. So, 1 will be a part of this new set. HCF of 2 and 10 is equal to 2, not equal to 1. So, t 2 will not come in this new set. HCF of 3 and 10 is equal to 1. So, 3 will come here. HCF of 4 and 10 is equal to 2, which is not equal to 1. So, 4 will not come here. HCF of 5 and 10, which is equal to 5, not equal to 1. So, 5 will, sorry, yeah, 5 will also not come here. HCF of 6 and 10, which is equal to 2, which is not equal to 1. So, 6 will also not come here. HCF of 7 and 10, which is equal to 1, means 7 and 10 are relatively co-prime to each other. So, 7 will come here. HCF of 8 and 10 is equal to 2, which is not equal to 1. So, 8 will also not come here. HCF of 9 and 10 is equal to 1, means 9 and 10 are relatively co-prime to each other. So, 9 will come here. So, Euler's 5 function of 10 is order of this new set, which is equal to, it contains 4 number of elements, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, Euler's 5 function of 10 is 4. So, that is the complete explanation of this topic, Euler's 5 function. But now, I will tell you where this is useful. I have explained you while explaining the concept of cyclic groups that a group is called a cyclic group if for any A belongs to G, it is getting generated by some of its element and where A is called generator of G. A is called generator of G. But a set may have more than one generator. Suppose a set is having a generator. So, it can have more than one generator. And it depends on different types of groups. For finite groups, for infinite groups, etc. So, in order to discuss different other generators of groups, we need the concept of Euler's phi function. And how this is useful in that concept that we are going to discuss in our next video. Earlier, I have uploaded all the videos from the definition of group theory till now Euler's phi function. Everything is there in my channel. You can check out the playlist for any kind of videos in group theory or for BSc or MSc mathematics. Don't forget to subscribe for my channel. If you like the video, don't forget to press the like button. Thank you so much for watching this. Same video is available in Hindi language also.